I've been wanting to try some of the Merle adjustable clamps for a while now and Peachtree uh, Woodwork in there had a sale on New Year's Day. They were on sale and they had another 15% off so I decided to order up a set of them. So they just arrived today and I'm just unpacking them here. You can see I got two clamps and then I got an extra set of um, the corners so I can do uh, I want to do a, some six-sided items with them. So um, here's what the clamps look like and actually they're quite a bit larger than what I expected them to be. They really are um, a nice looking clamp and they're they're really you know pretty pretty big and heavy and don't tell my wife but I got this stash of jerky in my shop now for the days we have salad for lunch. But anyhow here they are just um, this first looking at them and um, look to be really well made. Um, they come with a roll of banding there to allow you to, I think the banding is 21 feet long so you can clamp around anything that has a circumference up to 21 feet. And they've got this uh, clamp there that you have to uh, screw in and out which I'll get into later but that's one of my uh, least favorite things about this clamp. And then they have this, um, the band that you pull out and uh, that there has got some little issues too. You have to watch out that that little handle there doesn't bite you. Anyhow, that's what you do. Um, the, the everything seems to be well made, and um, you know it. It looks like they're gonna get the job done good. And these are the clamps I've been trying to use lately since I got that miter set gauge, and uh, it's just not easy to clamp up anything with you know more than four sides. So I decided to take a chance and try uh, a couple of these Merle clamps because I want to make up some six-sided columns and a uh, couple other projects so I thought they'd be a good match so I had cut some pieces a while ago to uh, that I wanted to glue up but I figured I'd wait for the clamp to get here to try to glue them up and you know first thing you do is try to match your grain up a little bit and then what I have to do is put some masking tape on the actual corners to hold them in place because I figured the easiest way to use this clamp is going to be to get it all set up before I get glue on stuff and you know have to fiddle with it later. So there's a basic frame. It's about 18 inches across there you can see. So that's nothing for this clamp. But the um, that little that little winder there you got to really you know keep your eye on that thing. So first thing I'm doing, gonna do here is just get it all set up. So when I'm doing the actual, after I add the glue and I'm doing the actual clamping, I don't have to waste a lot of time and you know have the glue possibly set up on me. So as you can see, pretty much I'm gonna have to add two more of those corner pieces to the clamp. The first thing you do is just kind of get the steel band stretched around it. And then, luckily, these corner pieces have uh, little plastic clips on them that hold the, the band in place that come off. Um, if they didn't, you'd have to take the whole clamp apart to put them on. So that was really a nice feature on them. And it's easy to uh, just slide that off and then just uh, just put the clamp in place and put it back on and it will hold it there. So things won't fall apart on you while you're trying to get everything clamped together. So and for this for six sides I've got to add uh, two more of those corners and um, I guess you can put as many as you want on there it doesn't really matter how many you put on there so these are kind of really versatile clamps that allow you to adjust to any kind of a situation so um, there it is all kind of situated Oop last piece on there and I'll show you in a little while how to how to easily get those little clips on and off but try to get everything kind of centered there and then uh, that little handle there moves that uh, piece that clamps on the strap back and forth to tension the strap so I'm just gonna loosen that up so I have some movement left on that just like a clamp works so that you can uh, pull everything tight when you're done so it's just a matter of loosening that up and then pulling the uh, excess slack out of the strap as you can see there and then tightening up that lever there but that's really a pain in the neck that's got to go I'm gonna do something with a flip over handle or a ratcheting handle on this because um, that's just uh, really kind of 
hard to figure out where it's going to end up when you tighten it. You have to make sure, like this, you can see it's up. Um, so you have to make sure that's the way you set the clamp up. So I'm just going to just test it all and just look at the fit, see how everything goes here. And uh, it does do a good job at pulling everything together really nice, tight. And um, once it does that, it really pulls everything uh, just perfect alignment and stuff. So um, there it is. Uh, just kind of set up now and ready to do the actual clamping. So what I wound up doing is... Uh, I wound up just putting a couple pieces of quarter inch plywood under the corners there. You can see just to raise it up so I could actually center those bands on the piece because the piece is only three quarter inch thick wood. So um, the those little corner uh, supports are actually thicker than that. So I'm just going to add some tight bond to all the edges and everything. And for now, I'm just clamping this up with tight bond. And later, I'm going to go back and actually add some splines to the corner. I'll cut out some splines on the saw there and um, glue in some ash splines to complement the wood. So just kind of got to get everything situated in place. You see that masking tape really helps you to get a good start on it. And then I'm just going to start to put a little bit of tension on it and go back and just kind of make sure that everything's uh, centered and that those, uh, those little corner feet that hit the wood are actually uh, spaced equally from that joint so everything is going to pull together nice and centered. So that's it. Um, you know, everything's ready to go. Just a couple twists of the clamp and it's clamped. It, it was really no fighting, no... Uh, you know, it was really super easy, and I'm really impressed. It uh, looks like it's going to be really, uh, you know, handy set of clamps to have. And you can see it does do clamp everything nice and rigidly and flush, and nothing moves when you go to clamp it. It all just, you know, pulls in tight. So I think they're going to be a great addition to the shop, and they really were worth picking up for, you know, things like this. So an hour later, I'm just going to go back and take the clamp off just have to loosen it up and um, loosen that that thing there up and then pull the manding back in um, first thing I do is take off those two extra corners I put on and what I found out is you have to uh, give them a little push down to get them out easy I'll show you the spring in a second but just have to push them down and then slide them back and they come right out once you get get that down. And then it's easy to just put the clamp, you know, to just pull the clamp back for storage. Just pull that back in tight and uh, then there's a little handle like an old tape measure on that steel banding there that you wind up and this is where you really have to be careful. Uh, when you wind that up, there's some tension built up in that roller, that in that little reel that actually tries to unwind it very quickly when you let go of it. So whenever you wind that up and let go of it, just make sure you get your fingers out of the way really quick. And uh, there you can see it just kind of shoots back at you. So, I mean, if you just if you just watch it, it's, uh, you know, it's real easy to avoid. But all in all, I uh, really think it looks like they're going to really help me out a lot. And you can see it was just just like a three minute process to actually get that clamp together. Now there are those clips I was telling you about. You can see there's two little molded plastic springs in there and then there's two little ears that actually go down and mate in there. So you, you put them, push them down and slide them in and then the little ears pop up and lock it in place. So, you know, the easiest way to get them off is push them down first and then slide them out. And they do, uh, you know, it's really a nice setup. Um, really looks to be well made, these clamps and stuff. We'll see how long they last. And these clamps are a really great companion to this miter set segmented, uh, you know, gauge that I got. So, all in all, they, uh, you can see there, they look really nice. Um, they work really good. Uh, the 
packaging they come in. It's kind of weird. It just says Merle Clamp on it. It says Made in Taiwan. There's no manufacturer or anything else listed on it or no contact information. So I really don't know who makes them, but I know that you can buy them at Peachtree Woodworking and MLCS sells them also. So, you know, I guess one of them must be the manufacturer. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.